girl Sarah the instrumentalist back with another YouTube video and a lot of people have been requesting this for a long time so here you go it is my home studio tour and the reason why I kind of feel comfortable sharing this now is because I'm actually moving <laughs> Yes, I'm actually gonna be moving into a different space. I feel more comfortable sharing this space now because by the time you're watching this, all this stuff will be somewhere else. I wasn't playing. I wasn't playing, man. I'm oh, completely different. I'm leveling up. Just make sure you subscribe if you wanna see the new studio tour. But you gotta watch this video. But I'm telling you, I moved on. <laughs> We're leveling up. We even have a balcony. The studio's a vibe. Make sure you subscribe. Get this video to a thousand likes and I'll give you a tour of the new, the new, woo! You got a fireplace, son. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> And plus, I've kind of outgrown this space, but I really felt like I needed to, to document my journey because I've been sharing my entire journey since I've been at home living with my mom. You guys can check out the first home studio tour where I was actually living at home. In my childhood bedroom, I turned into a little home studio. And that kind of led me to coming here to California and doing what I'm doing here, which is amazing. So I'm very proud of myself, but I'm very grateful for the support you guys have given me since day one. So I definitely want to take a second to say thank you for subscribing for liking for supporting me for supporting my business specifically supporting no quantize i'm really going to take the time this year to build on my brand and grow and i need you guys help so make sure you check out noquantize.com i just uploaded this new hoodie ah! yes that's me playing my machine by the lake is really beautiful oh my god i'm coming out with some really cool gear it's gonna be a whole level up to everything like this year it's gonna be a level up so comment below let me know what you're working on this year like what are you doing to level up in your life so let's do it let's start with this chair this chair i think i got it from amazon or from walmart this chair is like a gamer's chair it's way comfortable than any chair I've ever had, but I think I could probably purchase a more, even more comfortable chair because I sit in it all day long. All the products that I'm gonna talk about are going to be down below in the description, so make sure you guys check it out. And also recommend anything that's more comfortable as well, so yeah, put that down for me as well. Right here, we actually have like a rug. It was actually a really soft, like this, this rug was, I don't know what happened. <laughs> It was really soft when I first got it, and it's, it's okay, and I think I wanna get a different rug, like maybe a really cool rug with a lot of colors. So if you guys recommend someone that is making rugs, put it down in the comments for me. On this side of the room, it's the bathroom. Close that door. Here on the wall is this amazing poster that I'm gonna have forever. Shout out to Native Instruments for sending me and a group of beat makers and Native Instruments super users to Berlin, Germany in 2019. That was such an amazing trip. If you guys want to check out that vlog, I'll put that <laughs> up here. But yeah, this poster has everyone's signature except for Knox Square because he couldn't make it. But he's still the OG. He is really the OG of the machine. Right underneath this poster, I have this guitar hanging from the wall, which is really convenient. This is a Fender Telecaster. Got this from Guitar Center. It's my second electric guitar actually ever. My first one's back in North Carolina at home. Got a studio fan right here. Um, let me just show you the, op the opposite side of the room. So yeah, this is the bed. I love ducks by the way. Right here we have the Machine Plus. The Machine Plus is actually being held by this laptop stand, which is really dope. Underneath the Machine Plus is a Bose speaker. This is what I use to get the audio from the Machine Plus. Right next to the Machine Plus is a Moog Sub Fatty. So beautiful. 
It's actually sitting on a TV tray from Target. This is my desk. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the plants that I have here. So right next to the mug is my standing desk. Super convenient when I want to stand up. Oh yeah, so it's nighttime. I forgot to show you guys this cool thing I have under my desk where it lights the, the entire desk. So it kind of gives it a vibe and then boom. Got some lights behind the monitor too. Give it an extra vibe. And I got hue lights right here too. Isn't it cool? Make sure you get the vibe right here. I got a plant right here. Plant right here. And a plant right here. Underneath the plant is the JBL. I believe it's a R305. They're the red special edition. I love these. These are my first monitors. They're amazing. Underneath is a like a pad and then also like these white monitor stands which i really love got them from amazon on both sides boom boom right next to it we have one of the most vibey things you can have in your recording studio and i think it's a mess for me i need to have essential oil so this right here is essential for me I have a whole bunch of different flavors even more than what's right here get you one of these comment below let me know what you do in your recording studio to get a vibe do you have plants do you have essential oils do you like sage palo santo nag champa i have actual crystals here Crystals, boom, boom, boom. I have ducks, I love ducks. They make me very happy. I have this really cool uh, little separation stacker organizer thing. I have my SP404 here, or some piece MF Doom. I have my drumsticks for my Roland SPD-SX. This is a sampling pad, which is really cool. You can play the drums out. I enjoy doing it for performances or just playing the drums physically when I'm recording. I'm actually gonna get into this a little bit more in the future. Under here, this is the organelle from Critter and Guitari. Freaking amazing. And right next to it. Ooh, this right here is the OP-1. This is an LG 4K monitor. Underneath it, I have some inspiration, my NERD hat. This cat looks like my old cat, Mr. Bigglesworth. This picture here, it's an image of me and my mom. I think it's like one of the first pictures I've ever taken. This right here is my, this is a pocket operator by Teenage Engineering, this is really dope. This right here is a really great audio interface. It's by Arturia, it's called the Audio Fuse 8 Pre. It has like all my instruments plugged up here and in the back. Right here I actually have two personal computers. These are my work computers. I have keyboard set for these computers and this computer is set up for this, and I have them basically set up to, plugged up to the monitor so I could see what's on my computer. Right here is a core bot, which is amazing for music producers if you're wanting to create chord progressions. This baby here is the Machine MK3. Highly recommend this. What's up fam? It's your girl Sarah the Instrumentalist. If you just purchased Native Instruments Machina, or you've been using it for a while and you want to level up, sharpen up your skills, and get the most out of your investment, well, you should enroll into the Complete Guide to Machine course today. This guide features over 60 videos on how to use machine software and hardware. From learning how to make your own drum kits, finger drumming, recording instruments, sampling vinyl, chopping up samples, tips on how to mix, and how to complete a song using the machine. Plus, this guide is great for all machine users. I've been a machine user for over seven years now, and I've made instrumentals that have generated over 60 million streams. And I'm beyond excited to share my tips and tricks on how to use machine. Become a master at machine and enroll today. A lot of people ask me what is holding the machine. This is an actual laptop holder, like a laptop stand. Behind the machine is a 12 terabyte external hard drive to back up my computer. So I have some attachments here on my desk. One actually being the microphone, as you can see. Boom. It's by Toner. It actually came with all of this, the mic, the stand, 
the attachment, the cable. These are really cool. These are headphone hangers. And these are my personal headphones. I love to listen to these. If you know me, these are my favorite. Like these are like probably my 10th pair. These are Alpine headphones. The reason why I like these is because you can actually feel the music. Like they have technology where you can actually feel the bass. But when I'm like making music, I actually use these. These are Newman Berlin headphones here. So this is the messy part of the studio, is underneath the desk. I have this cabinet very much into organization. I actually want to get more organized. So like this cabinet has like a bunch of the cables that I use and they're all wrapped and zip tied. Down here, some percussion instruments and cables, envelopes, business stuff. I have this really cool power station that goes around. Here is an Artoria Key Lab 61. It has 61 keys. It has these really cool knobs. If you're using Artoria, you can map it to your DAW. There's another plant. Hey, baby. Down here, I actually have this is actually my illustration pad. I'm now learning how to illustrate. Under here, I have this keyboard. This Lumi. Can't wait to set it up in the new studio. It's going to be so pretty. Oh my God, this keyboard is so beautiful. Let's see. Woo! Down here in this corner, I have this really cool bag here by Soundbag. Shout out to Ski Beats who sent me this. This bag is awesome because it obviously looks like a machine or MPC and it's perfect size for vinyl. So guess what's in here? It's also a perfect size for your machine, of course. I have some of my vinyl in here. A lot of vinyl I got from Germany, from Sweden. Come to my bedroom. Come to my bedroom. Come to my bedroom. Okay, so behind the keyboard over here on this side is some space. I actually have a vision board here. I have an iPad Pro here. I had to do some illustration there as well. This right here. This is an Ebony's bass guitar. It's a four string. Also hanging on the wall here. Just really tight. Here's my Audio Technica record player. This is really cool. I have some videos on it. It's called an Artifine Instrument One. This is a Uno drum synthesizer, which is pretty cool. This is the Micro Freak by Artoria. Right next to it is my Machine Micro. This is a jammy. It's like a MIDI guitar. So the other stuff that's kind of crammed in this corner, and this is kind of why I really want to have more space, is because I have a bunch of keyboards. I have this vintage Casio MT220, and right behind it, this is a Casatone MT100. I have this stand dresser thing that divides my keyboards here. Other things that are down here, I have a tripod. The actual thing that I'm using now for this camera that I'm recording on is called a monopod. It's actually like one long stick, it has little feet, and the camera's at the top. And the camera that I'm using right now is the Sony 6400 Alpha Series. And the lens that I'm using is the Sigma 16 millimeter. I have this wonderful Galeco blue blue whatever it's called. It's not a xylophone apparently. Cause when I put that it was a xylophone on Instagram, everyone was like, no, it's not a xylophone. Even though when I bought it on Amazon, I put xylophone. This is actually probably my favorite scent that I have. It's probably my first scent. It's the Korg Micro, Micro Korg. XL. Sensil sent me this. They're like little bitty pads to play your instruments. With. It's pretty cool. I have yet to figure out how to use that. I have some more vinyl. Pretty cool. This is the Drum Brute by Arturia Drum Machine. And the last thing that's down here, this is the Novation Launchpad Pro. I do want to start using Ableton. And then this right here in my studio is my poster from the artwork from a pocket full of crystals. It's my hand. It's a pocket full of my actual crystals that I use and the crystals that are actually here. But yeah, this is my home bedroom studio. Boom, you can see the bed. So you guys just checked out my home bedroom studio. The beginning of 2021. Like I said, I'll be moving very soon. Actually this week, I'm actually gonna be starting putting all these stuff in a box right now. So I look forward into showing you the next studio setup. Make sure you guys check out the very first 
home studio tour I did back in 2018, I think. Very proud that I'm actually leveling up and that from that to this, and I'm just excited to level up because I have goals and I'm going to accomplish them. And you're going to watch me accomplish my goals. So make sure you guys subscribe, like this video. Thank you for supporting. I love you guys. Peace. Yeah.